We're CenturyLink, a new kind of broadband company committed to improving lives with honest personal service, five-year price lock guarantees, and consistently fast speeds. Hello everybody, my name's Arlo White and this is your CenturyLink scouting report on SoundersFC.com. Well, it's almost time for us all to head back to the scene of that magnificent US Open Cup final triumph on Tuesday night. The Philadelphia Union are the visitors to CenturyLink Field. They are chasing a playoff place in the Eastern Conference, but of course the Sounders, with a victory, will close the gap to the LA Galaxy to just four points in the Western Conference with two matches still to play. The Union need three points and they've got a former sounder in their ranks who's hit form just at the right time. Sebastian Latou is thriving at the moment, scoring goals and recently voted MLS Player of the Month. Why? Well, because he's back in his main position, his favoured position of central striker. There was a chain of events in Philadelphia that led to that situation occurring. Carlos Ruiz, their former top striker, was jettisoned by Philadelphia just a few months ago. You remember Carlos Ruiz? Here we are against the Sounders, a rainy PPL park in April and uh, a 1-1 draw, horrible conditions. He scored six goals in 14 games, Carlos Ruiz. He's now playing for Veracruz in Mexico. So, Sebastian Latou is now playing as a central striker. What has his response been? Well, pretty good. Nine goals in nine games. He is on fire at the moment, is the Frenchman. Let's take a look at a recent game against DC United where he bagged a brace. It was a very good performance. Here is Valdez, the central defender. Now, this is a mark of some of Philadelphia's play. They can play some nice football. They don't mind hitting it long every now and again. Here is Sebastian Latou in the centre of your screen. We'll play it on because no sooner is that ball played up front, Latou can sense something happening here. It deflects off a defender. Latou is there, predatory instincts, and he slides the ball into the back of Bill Hamid's net. A very good goal, a suspicion of offside, but it was 1-0 to the Philadelphia Union. The two second goal was even better. This is Michael Farfan on the left-hand side. What a beautiful chip that is. But he's just pulled away from the defender there, Latou. Magnificent chest control and an airing finish into the corner of Bill Hamid's net. He got a hand on it, Hamid. Couldn't keep it out. That is a fantastic striker's goal by a man who's very much in form. I know Sebastian Latou is a real crowd favourite in Seattle after his performances in the USL days and, of course, in 2009. And I'm sure you'll give him a great reception on Saturday provided, of course, he doesn't score. Manchester United have the De Silva twins. The Philadelphia Union have the rookie Farfan boys in their ranks. Michael is playing mainly on the left-hand side of midfield, a real good creative force. Gabriel, his twin brother, wasn't drafted, had a successful pre-season trial with Philadelphia, and he started to get more starts at left-back. Michael, in particular, is starting to have an influence on the way that Philadelphia attack. He scored a couple of delightful long-range goals. Let's take a look. This is again against... DC United. It was the pivotal moment in a 3-2 victory. Roger Torres back to Farfan. Look at the defence backing away. He senses it. He looks up, edge of the area, and rifles it into the top corner. A fantastic goal by Michael Farfan. A rookie who is, just like Sebastian Latou, playing with an awful lot of confidence at the moment. This is against Chicago earlier in the season. Look at that. No hesitation. Takes a bit of a deflection from the edge of the area. But again, a sign of confidence and a sign of technical ability. That was Michael Farfan's first Major League Soccer goal. So the Philadelphia Union have a lot of youth in their ranks. Michael Farfan, Gabriel Farfan, Freddie Adu, Roger Torres, all good, skillful young players who could be exciting to watch for many years in Major League Soccer. Like most Major League Soccer teams at this time of the year, the Philadelphia Union are struggling with one or two injury problems. Freddie Adu, though, and this is good news for them, could travel despite suffering recently from an ankle injury. Now, Adu, a former prodigy, signed his first contract with Major League Soccer at the age of just 14, remember. He's been out in the wilderness in European football in recent years, but he's back in Major League Soccer and what an acquisition he could prove to be for the league. Let's take a look at a recent game against the New England Revolution. We'll pause it just there. Look at the run being made by Sebastian Latou at the bottom of your screen. Farfan plays it into the feet of Danny Mwanga here. Freddie Adu decides to let that run through to Mwanga and we'll just play it on 
Mwanga gets the ball edge of the area, we'll pause it there. He has the option of maybe trying to slide it through to Latou, although the defender has recovered well. But Freddie Adu is making a super run on his left shoulder, and it's Adu who gets the ball. We'll play it on from there, and Freddie Adu makes absolutely no mistake with a left-footed finish. That was a terrific team goal by the Philadelphia Union. Now, another injury they've suffered recently, Farid Mondragon, their veteran Colombian goalkeeper. He's missed the last six MLS games with a fractured finger. Rookie Zach McMath, another young, promising prospect in Major League Soccer, has kept goal pretty well. He conceded four in that game against New England in his first game deputising for Mondragon, but only conceded four in the subsequent five games. But Mondragon is back in training this week. He could travel to Seattle, and he's a very fine goalkeeper. This was against Real Salt Lake a few weeks ago. Look out for the chance for Fabian Espindula here. Near post, Espindula gets there. That is wonderful goalkeeping. At his near post by Farid Mondragon. So, Zach McMath has deputised pretty well in goal for the Philadelphia Union, but I'm sure they're looking forward to getting their main man back between the sticks at CenturyLink Field. So remember, just a point for the Seattle Sounders in Shaw's second place. They're still alive in the race for the supporters' shield. Victory closes the gap on LA to just four points with two games to go. It's an extraordinary end to the season. We're live on King 5. Kickoff is 7 o'clock on Saturday afternoon. The pre-game show starts at 6.30. Matt Johnson, of course, with you, with the team on News Talk 97.3 Cairo FM. Enjoy the game, everybody. I'm Arlo White, and that was your CenturyLink Scouting Report on soundersfc.com.